In today's video, I'm going to be showcasing you guys one of the most powerful SMGs in the game. That is the Fennec. I love the way this SMG feels. But before I get straight into the class setup, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone that has subscribed to the channel. We have hit 1,000 subscribers. I really do appreciate everyone that's hit that button. And if you are new here and this is the first time you're seeing this video, hit the subscribe button and make my dream come true on 10k subscribers on this channel. So. Without further ado, let's dive into this class setup and why I'm using these attachments. So the Fennec, man, it reminds me of a Vector. I love Vectors, I love SMGs, and I thought, why haven't I uploaded a video on this gun yet? So today is the day. Now for the rear grip, we have gone towards the Fennec rubber grip. Why? Because it gives us sprint to fire speed, aim down sight speed. Now with the SMG, you wanna make sure, well, I wanna make sure that I'm not slow, I'm not sluggish, I wanna be quick, snappy, and if I get up close to someone, I wanna make sure that I win that gunfight. So an attachment like this is always the better way to go, but again, go towards what you think is better for you. Now for the stock, I've gone towards the Assault 7 stock. This is gonna give you that sprint speed, aim walking speed, crouch movement speed, and aim down sight speed. Again, guys, this stock is gonna help with you being fast. It's not gonna slow you down, and this is exactly what I want. Now for the laser, I've gone towards the VLK. This is gonna give you aim down sight speed, aim and stability, and sprint to fire speed. Again, go towards what you think is best for you. But for me, being fast with an SMG is always the better way. I think because they're such, you know, they have such a high RPM, most of these guns, you don't want to be sluggish or slow. I'm guessing some of you do like to, you know, reduce the aim down sight speed and go towards more damage on the actual gun. And I guess that's more for Warzone sometimes, but correct me if I'm wrong. I'm kind of new to this game, but I do love the way I actually customize my weapons and the way I tune them. Now for the barrel, we have gone towards the Forge Tac Ninja. This is gonna give us sound suppression, bullet velocity, damage range, and recoil control. Now with a barrel like this, you just can't go wrong, man. It's giving you four good pros there, in my opinion, and I think this is the best barrel that is gonna suit a gun like this, especially with the attachments that I have on it so far. So that is the attachments I'm running for this weapon. You can switch things up and go towards different things. But today, man, this is what I am showcasing for you guys. Now for the tuning, we're gonna head into the rear grip. I've actually got aim down sight speed there and sprint to fire speed. And with the tuning, you kinda just wanna go with what you think would be best. And the way I usually do it is, I usually look at the attributes that I'm getting from the attachment, like the rear grip, I'm getting sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. And then I kinda just usually tune it towards them attributes. So, you know, you can do it in your own way, but that is the way I like to do things. So for the stock on the tuning, we have gone towards more aim down sight speed and aim walking speed. For the laser, we have gone towards more sprint to fire speed and aim down sight speed. For the barrel, we have chosen, oh my God, why does this always happen? Please put it in the comment section. Why does the tuning move on its own? I don't know if it's my controller, but I did see another video where this happened. But anyway, damage range and recoil steadiness there. And that is the tuning for this gun. Now, if you're interested in what I actually use for my secondaries, lethals and tacticals, well, let's get into that. I'm using a knife, combat knife, so if anyone comes up close to me, I can just quickly switch to it and knife them up, get them out of the way if I want to panic. Tactical, I'm using a stun grenade, I want to slow down enemies. Semtex, I want to stick it to them and just, you know, make sure that they're out of here. And for the perk selection, I've gone towards double time, scavenger, fast hands and quick fix. They're the main kind of perks I like to use. I like to actually switch between quick fix and ghost. So again, I guess it's just personal preference, but let me know in the comment section what kind of perks you know you guys love to go towards. And lastly, but not least, the field upgrade. I am using the ammunition box. Again, if I run out of ammo and I'm on a high kill streak, I can just slap this down, get some ammo, and get back to killing and hopefully get that nuke. But um, let me know what you think of this gun setup in the comments section below. Let me know how you guys would build it yourself. Um, is this a good way to build the Fennec? Do you like the Fennec? What sort of SMG are you loving in the new update? Just comment below. I would appreciate that a lot. And if you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. 
It's been Addiction Plays. Again, thank you for all the support on the channel. Huge support. I really do appreciate it. But I'm going to see you in the next video. Peace out.